What's up, guys? Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Uh, I'm going to do a speaker today because I feel like um, I've been in front of the camera uh, two or three times this weekend, so um, I'm asking for mercy so that I don't have to uh, get in front of the camera. But at any rate, guys, I got a couple of things I want to talk about. Um... Hold on, let me get to it. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is, y'all know I'm natural. Um, I don't really wear a lot of makeup for the most part. I do my lip color. And I'm a huge advocate on skin moisturizer. Like, I put either cocoa butter or I found this new stuff that I'm absolutely in love with. It works well for us older women, and I have sensitive skin, so it doesn't really bother um, my skin. I haven't had any breakouts, but I'm going to do a separate video on that because you guys say you love my skin. But um, I am a natural sister, and y'all could be mad all y'all want to because y'all may feel like you. I have no right to speak about this particular issue because you like, but you don't count. you natural. But let me say this to Tyrese. Tyrese, E-A-D, okay? E-A, motherfucking D. That comment that you made about sisters that get, or you didn't say sisters, you said women who get um, plastic surgeries and wear fake hair and the long eyelashes, basically look like clowns. Now, I ain't even going to say, basically, I'm going to say that the dude just said that um, sisters that wear natural hair, I mean, wear uh, weaves and eyelashes and get their lips plumped up and uh, get fake boobs and fake butts, they look like clowns. Okay, I am indeed natural. I have said I've gotten plastic surgery done before. Yes, I have. I believe that if it's something that you want to do, then Shasta La Vista, go for it. It's your life. Is your body, you do what the frig you want to do. Now, I touched on this a little bit in a video that I made before titled, It's Not About the Skin, It's About the Hair. Tyrese, you have no friggin' right to be talking about whether or not a sister looks a fool or like a clown when she wears weaves in her hair and, and, and lashes and gets work done on her body. You have no friggin' right. First of all, okay, not, let me not even say first of all. I stopped liking Tyrese a long time ago because he's one of them pseudo Tommy Soto Mayor, Mayor dudes. I can't even say his name right. And ladies, this is a little piece of something for you to keep in mind. The first question I ask a dude or one of the first questions I ask them a dude when I meet him is, how do you feel about Tommy Sotomayor? And if them dudes be on board with that Tommy Sotomayor BS, then you already know you're working with a man with um, a narcissistic attitude and just a, 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 a poor attitude towards women, period. I don't know what happens, but it just seemed like it's just been an influx of men that like to down women, especially women of color. Like women of color are the only ones that have attitude problems. Like white women don't have attitude problems. Like Latina women don't have attitude problems or um, Pakistani women. And you know, to be quite honest, I've, I've, befriended some women from um, Bangladesh, a woman from Bangladesh. And you know what's crazy? She thinks the same way as black women do. She just says it softer and thinks and, and thinks just like us. When, I, when she was talking, I was like, oh, my God. And she'd been with her dude for 30 plus years. And she says the same thing, has the same attitude as a black woman. She just says it softer. So I don't I don't know what men like that beef is with the black woman. You know, I, I don't get it. But anyway, taking it back to what um, I'm trying to say about 
the the hair thing. Black men have such a problem with women that wear certain things to make themselves look more exotic. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you guys did not sweat exotic women the way that you do, then I'm sure that these women would not feel like they need to put 97 inches of Malaysian hair in their head to feel like they are beautiful. They wouldn't need to put all this makeup on their face to feel that they are friggin' beautiful. And me, I am natural. I, You know, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but if I choose to, I don't want to hear nobody's mouth about me doing it. I have wigs, believe it or not. I do wear wigs when I'm in the mood for it. I like to change my hair up. It's in a, it, it depends on what I'm feeling for today. But I'm telling you, I'm so sick of these daggone black men coming from a place of, my sister, you are beautiful. No need for this, no need for that. You are uh it's no need for you to put the lashes on and get all this work done and, and you know, wear all this weave. But yet and still, you the same man that married an exotic woman or a woman that does not look full naturally black. That's what kills me about these men. Y'all act like black women are like the worst but then you sweat these exotic women like they don't be shizzing on you too. Them exotic women, first of all, half the time, they don't even want your black ugly ass. They don't even want you. Nine times out of ten, they messing with you because you got some money. Nine times out of ten. But you won't touch on that. You won't touch on how if you was a regular old Mo or, 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 or Joe around the way, these exotic women wouldn't be fooling with you. But because you're an NBA player or a football player or whatever the case may be, then that's when they show you love. Unless you like in one of them areas like New York where black and Latina and Latino is the same thing. But they wouldn't be fooling with you no other way. They wouldn't be paying your ASS no mind, you know. Or, you know, unless something, an exception where y'all grew up together. But Tyrese, I have not liked his pompous blow hard self in 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 never like and he thinks that I guess he's dropping knowledge on people or on women like you trying to help us sisters out. Let me say this and I'm I'm gonna close it up with this thing with Tyrese. Can't no man that put down a black woman for not being natural who dates women that don't look nothing near black tell me anything. You feel me? If you telling me, a uh, sister, to stop putting all this hair in my head and, and wearing fake eyelashes and stop getting all this work done to my body and just be natural, a natural sister, you're telling me to do this, but yet and still you run to an offer, to the author with a woman that look like, I don't know, Kim Kardashian? Man, go take a seat. Go over there and shut the STFU. Shut the fuck up. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry for the, the F word. I'm sorry I dropped the bomb. But shut the fuck up because you can't tell me shit. Go over there. Your word means absolutely nothing to me, sir. I'm not saying that Tyrese don't have good points. He does. He does have good points from time to time. But for the most part, I'm not listening to you. I'm not. Plus, on top of that, he don't know how to treat women because y'all know Tyrese has issues with his hands and he don't know how to talk to. He don't know how to use his words. He can't communicate with his words properly. That's why he be putting his hands on women. Okay, because don't forget, don't forget, he didn't did shows with his baby mother. Now, that's why I'm telling you, half the time, them, them Tommy Sotomayor followers be having issues in their brain. They be having attitude problems and they need to get an adjustment. Dag on it. That mother sucker be tripping. Tyrese, eat a dick. And that's all I got to say about that. The next thing I want to talk about is the T.I. and Tiny calling off their divorce thing. Now, I'm sure that I've read that this was going to be the final season for them. Um, okay. I don't know if they're calling off the divorce 
just to keep the facade up for uh, them to maintain, you know, that income coming in for their brand. Um, but I said previously that T.I. and Tiny gooped the children. Like, I don't even think they like each other no more. I think they're just used to each other. You feel me? And I think that, um, like, I'm not mad at them for calling off the divorce for uh, money. But I just want to, oh, well, to to maintain a, fin- a certain financial status. Now, keep this in mind also. I don't know if anybody is aware of this or have been privy to this information. I'm sure they have because social media is a monster in regards to people's personal business. But, um, you know, T.I. and Tiny are in a lot of debt. And part of her petition to the court in regards to um, um, the divorce or her reasoning for divorce and her um, requirements for the divorce was for T.I. to be the primary person that is responsible for the debt um, in regards to them. Because from what I understand, they are in a lot of financial debt. And because they're in that financial debt, they don't have time to be, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, make moves when they're enthralled in debts. And see, that's another reason why I'm like, I'm not really trying to do the merge thing. You know, I can love you. I don't need to have paper involved in it. I mean, I take your ring now. I ain't no fool. I take your ring. But I know too many situations where people have came out of marriages broke. I mean, truly broke where, you know, and I hate to say it. I know a lot of women that suffered the most because of the fact that the man that they chose to marry did so many things financially that when it was over their marriage caused the woman to basically just be in a negative 237 because they had to climb out of the hole, you know? So, um, what I'm saying about them calling off the divorce nine times out of 10, what I'm feeling, I'm feeling that for real, she done with the dude. She ain't really messing with the dude. I feel like their marriage has been done. Um, they may still, you know, enjoy these up each other's company, you know, some people are able to function um, as friends once you realize that it's over. But I think that they both made a business decision, a conscious business decision to say, no, let's not, um, let's not end this right now because we need this money. So I'm not bad at them. And y'all know me. Y'all know my frame of mind is always Business, business, business. Now, I wouldn't merge the ninja because my mind is business and I ain't got time to be splitting my money. Just like men be like, oh, I'm going to split. You know, I don't want to get a divorce because, you know, I got to split my money. Ass. I'll be the same way. I don't want to get a divorce because I don't need nobody coming for my pension. Nobody. Because that's what happens. Seriously, I know so many people who got a divorce that have to split like their retirement, their pensions, sell their homes, just everything is just so messed up. So, you know, I, I'm not mad at them for making that choice to call off the divorce. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about is Apollo and Portia. So, supposedly, Todd called out. Portia for sleeping with Apollo. Apollo, you know, is Phaedra's husband. I'm going to say this, guys. That mother, that that mother sucking passion is something, is something, okay? Now, I've said that Portia is a cancer, and you know, I call all my cancers sister hot vaginas. 
you know, passion and emotion sometimes can take over them and they don't have that. I want to, well, they do, but when just human beings, period, when that passion is in your body and it's moving through you and you're finding someone else desirable, just rationale just goes out the window. So when you have somebody that is an attractive person like Apollo, he's not attractive to me, but women be hollering he's attractive and he's up in your ear, you know, he's the devil because you know men, men will hurt you when they're feeling hurt. So will women, but he's up in your ear telling you that you in a good place or that you look beautiful to him and that he wants you. Ladies, don't be, don't try to fake like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because it has been a time or two that I had to grab myself and be like, wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute. Don't let this ninja get up in your head, god on. Where, you know, we've had them nights where you've been out on a date with somebody. And you feeling him and he feeling you and... And, and, you know, you know, like I said, when you attract to the person, just don't shave. You feel me? Just don't shave down there. You know, you ain't giving nobody no vagina when that thing down there is like a old wolf vagina. You know, you ain't, you know, doing that. But if you know you attract to the person and the person is beautiful and there is that magnitude where y'all just, you know, feeling each other and he get up in your face and he like, whispering in your ear and every little touch he gives you, you just feel like, oh my gosh, you know, oh my gosh. If he just say the right thing, I'm through. You know what it is. Men go through it all the time. You know, they go through it all the time. But with us, when we feeling that passion, it's hard for us to stop that passion. And we know Portia, she be on some different stuff. If she want to do it, you know, she'll munch on some whatever it is she want to munch on. She'll do it. So I'm saying, you know, now I, I'm saying that I believe that Portia did have that moment with Apollo. I do believe that because the greatest, the the greatest sex or physical, the the greatest physical, anything, it's things that you're not supposed to be doing. And I'm not saying I slept with any of my um, girlfriends, dudes. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the, the, the cheating element of sex sometimes is the thing that turns people on the most. Granted, that's the thing that gets you in the most, most trouble, but the more, um, the more of a taboo it is, the greater the passion is. So do I think that um, Portia slept with Apollo? Yes, I do. Because I think Apollo was on that BS. And I think Phaedra, I mean, not Phaedra, Portia might be taking her old piece of e-pill here and there. And she's just ready to just, you know, ran, ran, ran on anything that's beautiful to her at the moment. You feel me? Oh, my God, this is 18 minutes. At any rate, guys, um, I think I'm going to be watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion tonight. So I may have another video or another speaker in the morning to talk about. But um, pretty much that's all I had to say about um, those things. But I wanted to give a little more on what I felt about those three subjects. So have a good Sunday, guys. Deuce.